Uh, you're very welcome this morning to this very special day for all of us here uh, to celebrate the success of our graduands. Before the official proceedings get started, I just wanted to have a brief word with the candidates today. Um, it's a very big stage, uh, and what we want you to do is to come up on this side, so that's your right. Wherever you are, you're gonna to need to move across your row and then come up on the right, come onto the stage, You'll receive your parchment uh, just beside this red table. You'll get to shake hands with uh, the president and the chancellor of the NUI, the dean of the faculty, and then we'd ask you to exit stage your left, my right. So, um, And in a couple of minutes, the uh, academic procession will arrive. And at that point, I'll ask you again to stand up. Just before we get started, if I could ask you to really make sure that your mobile phones are on silent. You don't need to turn it off. I know you're going to probably record and take pictures, but um, particularly for the graduates themselves, uh, it's awful if your phone rings just as you're halfway across the stage. So uh, make sure it's on silent now. Um, and in a couple of minutes, I'll ask you to arise. But until then, uh, please enjoy your day. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please take a moment to locate your nearest fire exit. In the unlikely event of evacuation, please follow the directions of the CTD staff and proceed directly outside. Please do not attempt to re-enter the building until told that it is safe to do so. Please be seated. <clears throat> Chancellor, President, Deans, academic colleagues, new graduates, and most importantly, your family and friends, 
You're all very welcome today to the conferring ceremonies of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. Before declaring opening the ceremonies of RCSI and the National University of Ireland, may I first introduce the platform party. At the table to the front of the platform, from your right, is the Chancellor of the National University of Ireland, Dr. Maurice Manning. Beside him, Professor Patrick Bro, President of the Royal College of Surgeons of Ireland. Ms. Edda Woolhead, Dean of the Faculty of Nursery and Midwifery, RCSI. On the second row of the platform, again from your right, is Dr. Attracta Halpin, Registrar of the National University of Ireland. Ms. Judith Gilroy, Associate Director for Academic Affairs at RCSI. Mr. Martin Cunningham, Examinations Officer at RCSI. Professor Hannah McGee, Dean of the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences at RCSI and Professor Zena Moore, Acting Head of the School and Faculty of Nursing and Midwifery at RCSI, and I am Professor Cahill Kelly, CEO Registrar at RCSI. Before declaring open the conferring ceremonies today, I think we are all very mindful of our many nursing colleagues from the Philippines whose family and friends are going through a terrible trauma this week. I would ask you all to observe a moment's silence before we start our conferring ceremony out of respect for their great loss and pain. Thank you. I now call upon the Registrar of the National University of Ireland, Dr. Tracta Halpin, to formally open the NUI conferring ceremony. Universitas Hiberniae Nationalis. Pre honorables cancellariae, tota que universitas, hic comitia universitaria, hodie convocata sunt, ut he mulieres maxime eximie et he viri maxime eximie ad grados academicos admitantur. This is a meeting of the National University of Ireland for the purpose of conferring degrees and diplomas and the presentation of certificates. The graduands will be presented by the Registrar of RCSI, Professor Cahill Kelly, and the degrees will be conferred by Dr. Morris Manning, Chancellor of the National University of Ireland. I now declare open the conferring ceremony for the award of degrees of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. Would the graduands for the honours degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing please stand? for the award of honours degree of Bachelor of Science. Pre honorabilis cancellari, totaque universitas, presento vobus has meus filius et hos meus filios, quos omni sui tam moribus, quam doctrina habiles et adeus esse qui admitor ad graduam baccalaureatus scientiae honoro corso confecto, idique tibi fide mea testor, expondeo totaque academiae. O octoritata mihi concessa, Admito vos ad gradum baccalaureatus scientiae honoru cursu confecto. I now call upon Professor Zina Moore, acting head of the School and Faculty of Nursing and Midwifery of RCSI, to call forward the graduates. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Abraham Lallymol. Abraham Shanti. Ajay Alafunke.
Alfred Angeline. Asamuga Shinair. Augustine Recca. Augustine Sonia. Babu Smitha. Balakrishnan Kala. <laughs> Benny Suni. <laughs> Shantrashakar Indu. Zhuang Huang Ying. <laughs> Damsa Christina. <laughs> Francis Nisha. George Bincy. George Jamie. George Julie. George Ligia. George Linta. George Gishimal. Hume Emma. <laughs> Jacob Ansicotti. <laughs> John Sindhu. Joseph Grace. <laughs> Joseph Jinsey. <laughs> Joseph Joyce.
Joseph Medjimal. Joseph Shebe. Kachapili Joseph Fessy. Kataria Rajni in absentia. Kolakuti Deepa. Koriakosi Panayil Remia. Kurian Smita. Kutichero Susan. Leela Bina. Madhavan Asha. Mani Bincy. Matthew Meany. McConnell Ursula. McDade Nolene. McKeever Lisa. Ogunlea Olayami Mary. Uman Biji. Owala Vera Phoebe Akinyi. Pilati Devaskuti Jovi. Palapadan Johnny Jamie Parokaran George Moby Paul Sheena Paul Shirankarakudi Shidi Paulos Anju Paulos Susan
Puravikatarayal Pitambaran Trija. Ratnam Geetha. Renu Joseph. Sebastian Cincy. Sebastian Jancy. Sebastian Shirley. Sebastian Sony. Sebastian Kanampuli Sumita. Sharma Sunita Shibu Cheryl Skaria Raji Garia Ashley <laughs> Thomas Ditty <laughs> Thomas Susan Thomas Flyvey <laughs> Thomas Babimol <laughs> Thomas Cochirani Thomas Tekin Gigi Varghese Shinsi Wilson Marina Xavier Sheeney <laughs> And now for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing Management Anil Ampili Anthony Bincy <laughs> Aruna Shalom Joy <laughs> Babu Esther
Coughlin, Tara in absentia. Da Costa, Jacintha Assumpta. Doyle, Laura. Desa Sunita Shanti. Emlias Redin Roch. Fitzpatrick Sonia in absentia. Gibson Jean. Haverty Susan. Hayes Yvonne. Higgins, Marion. <clears throat> Jacob, Betty. <clears throat> Jacob Stanley, Anita, Priyada Sharini. <clears throat> Jose Ma Remedius Brenda. <clears throat> Joseph Jasmine. Joseph Paulin. <clears throat> Kerwin Christine. <clears throat> Cora Sicily. Koratu Balakrishnan Jyoti. Lynch Olivia. Matthias Monica. Matthew, Mary. <clears throat> McCarthy, Patrick, in absentia. McAvoy, Joan. Michelle Abraham Rinsey. Meshach Sanja. Murphy Gillian.
Naiga Celia. Nazareth Celine Reshma. Need Zueka Teresa. Nugent Fanula. Now Amara Happiness. O'Connor Danielle. Oguni Falak Adamidon. Oluwala Gaba Oluwatsasan. Omahani Deirdre. O'Shea Elizabeth. Oyadale Ibukan. Pendanatu Gopalan Deepa. <clears throat> Philip Rinsey. <clears throat> Pillai Santi. Quinn Shirley. Sandor Simona. Smith Avril. Taro Kavita Nitai Thomas Bindu Tommy Thomas Sisi Tully Maria Vargas Alicia Vargas Susama
Veda Manikam, Maria Florence. For the award of the NUI Certificate in Nursing, would the graduates for this award please stand for the presentation of their certificate? Pre Honorabilis Cancellari, Totoque Universitas, Presento Vobus Hosmeus Filias et Hosmeus Filios, Quos Omni Si Tam Moribus, Quam Doctrina Habiles et Ineus Esse, Qui Admitter Ad Certificum in Scientia Nosocomedi, Idique Tibi Fide Mea Testor, Expondeo Totigre Academiae. Sir Presenta Vobis Certificationem in Scientio Nos Commendi. I call on Professor Zina Moore to call forward the graduates. For the Certificate in Nurse Midwife Prescribing, Byers Sarah. Kayons, Virginia. <laughs> Colin Sinead. <laughs> Cunningham, Denise. Duffy Jennifer Galvin Rosaline in absentia Gavin Denise George Sani Guy Una in absentia Hanlon Geraldine Jacob Genie Javankari Nina <laughs> Jerome Suganti in absentia Kelly Melissa Kelly Melissa in absentia. Kinnery Geraldine Dimpner. Kinsella Sharon <laughs> Lanigan Kiron <laughs> Lanigan, 
Liston Kira. MacDonald Deborah. Mason Sandy. Mullen Deirdre in absentia. O'Grady Olive. O'Malley Collette. O'Neill Mary. O'Rourke Evelyn in absentia. Paolozzi Fiona. Regunathan Vanita in absentia. Shields Pauline. Smith Noel in absentia. Smith Mary. For the award of the degree of Master of Science, which will be awarded in the following categories. The degree of Master of Science in Nursing in Coronary Care Nursing, Emergency Nursing, Gerontological Nursing, Infection Prevention Control, Neonatal Intensive Care Nursing, Neuroscience Nursing, Practice Nursing, Renal Nursing, Respiratory Nursing, and wound management and tissue viability. The degree of Master of Science in Nursing and Midwifery will be awarded in Advanced Practice, Advanced Practice Epilepsy, and Advanced Leadership Nursing. Can I ask the graduates for these awards to please stand? Pre Honorabilis Cancellari, Totoque Universitas, Presenter Vobus Hasmeus Filius et Hosmeus Filios, Quos omni si tam moribus, quam doctrina habiles et aneus esse, qui admitter <coughs> ad graduum magisteri scientia, idique tibi fidi mea testor, expondeo totique academiae. Ego octoritata mihi concessa, admitto vos ad gradum magisteri scientiae. Professor Zina Moore will call forward the graduates. For MSc Nursing, Abraham Ansi. Augustine Nirmala. Bermejo Kendi. Chloe. Boswell Christie. Brennan Marion. Buxawaska Mariola. <coughs> Byrne 
Nicola in absentia. Day Dooley. George Nisha. Javankara Nina. Lamas Helen. Matu Priya. Maguire Sinead. <clears throat> Martins de Oliveira, Ana Lucia. <clears throat> McLaughlin Gemma in absentia. McNamee Frank. <clears throat> Mitchell Donna. <clears throat> Paul Sarah. Plunkus Sinead. <clears throat> Shabu Shani. <clears throat> Ukaka Angela Ogeki. For the Master in Nursing and Midwifery Advanced Practice Nursing, Anthony Shinney. <clears throat> England, Deborah. Heaney Sinead. <clears throat> Colleen Angela. <clears throat> Kinsella Sharon. For the degree in MSc Nursing Midwifery, Advanced Practice Nursing Epilepsy, Crowley Suzanne. <clears throat> For the MSc in Nursing Midwifery, Advanced Leadership Nursing, Thomas Bincy. Zinyemba Liliosa.
I now call on the Registrar of the National University of Ireland, Dr. Tractor Halpin, to formally close our conferring ceremonies. Totuque Universitas, Cerimonies Rite Confectis, Que Sofacias Finem, Huius Convocationis Universitariae. That completes the NUI and RCSI conferring ceremonies. Call on Professor Zina Moore, Acting Head of the School and Faculty of Nursing and Midwifery at RCSI, to announce and call forward the academic prize winners. The first prize is um, the Rose Lanigan Medal, and it is awarded to commemorate the life and work of Rose Lanigan, a practice nurse. And this prize is awarded to the nurse who scores the overall highest in the nurse prescribing. And the winner is Mary Smith. The next prize is the Mary Frances Crowley Award, which is to commemorate the work, the life and work of the Founder Dean of the Faculty of Nursing. And this prize is awarded to the student who scores the overall highest in the Masters in Nursing. And the prize winner is Sarah Paul. The next prize is the National Florence Nightingale Committee of Ireland Award, and this committee has always supported the work of the Faculty of Nursing and Midwifery. And the prize is awarded to the student who scores the overall highest in the BSc programmes, both nursing and management. And the prize winner is Babby Mole Thomas. It now gives me great pleasure to call on the President of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, Professor Patrick Bro, to address the Assembly. <laughs> Chancellor and Registrar of NUI, Deans, CEO, RCSI, academic colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, and especially all you, our new graduates. It is a great pleasure to welcome you here to this event this morning, and it is one of the highlights of our academic year. Yesterday, we graduated pharmacists, doctors, physiotherapists, MD, PhD researchers, and MSCs in healthcare management and bereavement studies, to mention but a few. Today, it is the turn of the nurses, of whom there are such numbers that we had to move from our home campus in Stevens Green to this magnificent convention center. So you're a very special group because this is the first time an RCSI conferring ceremony has been conducted in the, in the convention center. And the venue, the venue, I must say, is, is spectacular. Now, the Faculty of Nursing and Midwifery and School of Nursing, currently led by Professor Zena Moore, since Professor Kalman has taken up a position in our campus in Bahrain, she is ably assisted by her many colleagues, and they are the, amongst the most dynamic departments in the College of Surgeons. Professor Moore herself graduated with an MSc in Leadership and Health Professions Education yesterday, and we congratulate her again today. And we have well over 200 nurses graduating here today, most of whom are here in person. Every year we see evidence of innovation, 
new thinking and new programme development in our faculty and school. And today we mark the graduation of the first advanced nurse practitioner in epilepsy in that programme, among other advanced nurse practitioner candidates, and we congratulate you in particular. I'd also like to congratulate the three prize winners, uh, obviously for outstanding achievement in the, in the particular courses in which they have participated. Now we all know nursing is a very noble and rewarding career, but it is increasingly challenging in the current climate. The health service in this country in particular, as indeed in many others, is under constant scrutiny and criticism for failures in service delivery and in quality of care. There's almost a media frenzy on negative stories in healthcare, but the successes, the many positive things that dedicated professionals like yourselves do often go unmentioned. And many of you are, who are already working in the Irish health system recognize the tremendous change that it is undergoing. We are all as pro health professionals required to treat more patients with less staff and fewer resources. And indeed, in fairness to our senior hospital administrators, they are required to produce evidence of efficiency and delivery of targets. But despite these pressures and restricted resources, it still falls to us as individual professionals in the system to deliver for our patients. And don't, I would recommend to you, underestimate for one minute what your individual contribution in your particular area can achieve. So do things to the best of your ability and be as positive towards the patients and your colleagues as reasonably possible. The acquisition of these BSc degrees and master's degrees will keep an academic and evidence-based focus on your daily work. And your colleagues will be inspired and enlightened by your new insights. And all this will help to drive excellence in healthcare provision for our patients and indeed for the citizens of Ireland, which is core mission for RCSI. More than ever in healthcare, we need good leadership. And leadership is not about the Minister for Health or the Secretary General or the Chief Executive of the hospital or senior clinicians in a, uh, like ourselves. Everyone can and should be a leader within their own healthcare role. And that means taking responsibility, showing initiative, doing the best possible job you can every day and facilitating others around you to achieve their goal of doing a good job as well. The Faculty of Nursing and Midwifery has continued to develop and expand its research arm. Postgraduate nursing students are involved in research projects in areas such as wound management and tissue viability, day case surgery, lymphedema epidemiology, and the use of honey in the eradication of MRSA. All of these research projects will have a significant impact ultimately on the provision of clinical services to our, to our patients. And these ref developments reflect the ability of the faculty and the school to react and respond quickly to the needs of the health service. You are a great example as nurses to the rest of us, practical and pragmatic, and other professions in healthcare can learn a lot from observing you. Irish nurses, and indeed Irish educated nurses, have always been held in high regard internationally. The current generation of nursing, including all of you here today, is maintaining that standard by your constant striving to improve your professionalism and your skill set. Only by doing that will the quality and safety of patient care, which is paramount, be maintained. And I would like to finish by saying how much I admire those of you who have achieved your qualifications today by combining the demands of study with your busy day job and with all your family and social commitments. That to me is real dedication. And a special welcome also for your parents, family members, friends and supporters who've come along today, but of course who have facilitated you in achieving your goals and attaining these important degrees today. Your parents and supporters and friends can all be proud of your achievements. So congratulations again to you all, and I wish you every success in your future careers. I'm now delighted to introduce uh, the Dean of the Faculty of Nursing and Midwifery at RCSI, Ms. Edda Woolhead.
President, Registrar, Chancellor, Dean, Board Members of the Faculty of Nursing and Midwifery, Academic Staff, Distinguished Guests, New Graduates, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good Morning. I would like to offer my heartfelt congratulations to all graduates here today. You've achieved so much and you've worked so hard to be here this morning. By being here, you're demonstrating what amazing potential you have and what a wonderful contribution you're making to nursing and to midwifery. As we celebrate your achievements and as I stand here and address you collectively, I'm actually trying to speak to you as individuals because I appreciate the marathon effort it takes to be here to bring you to this point. I also want to acknowledge and thank on your behalf those who supported you and helped your junior career and academic achievements. For many of you, the past year or two has been a challenge to juggle work, to juggle study, your personal life, your family life, and it would have been an impossible without family, friends, and colleagues, many of whom are here today and proudly watch as you graduate. So perhaps you, the graduates, would like to take a moment to express your gratitude to those who are here today who have supported you. We live in a world that is changing very fast, and to keep up, we must adapt and grow. Now more than ever, we cannot afford to fall behind the times, and that means that we must be lifelong learners. And for all of you graduating here today, you know that better than anyone else. An investment in education always pays the best interest. And remember, the only boundaries to what you achieve are the ones that you set for yourself. So let today not be the end of your education but rather the opening of new doors. I encourage all the master students, master graduates here today to consider undertaking the RCSI Fellowship in Nursing and Midwifery. The fellowship is exclusively offered by the Faculty of Nursing and Midwifery and was one of the most prestigious and internationally recognized awards for nurses and midwives in Ireland. I also challenge you to disseminate your learning, share your knowledge, present your research findings, because healthcare cannot remain static, and the profession of nursing and midwifery must be grounded in research and evidence. It is good to see so many master graduates here today, and those of you who know me will know that I'm an advanced nurse practitioner in neonatology, and I'm particularly happy to see so many in advanced practice graduates here today. At this point, I would like to congratulate our prize winners, Sarah Paul, Baby Mole Thomas, and Mary Smith, and well done to you. With the introduction of the Nurses and Midwives Act 2012, we are all required to maintain our professional competence and to demonstrate that competence. Graduates, by your presence here today, you are indicating your commitment to nursing and midwifery and to providing excellence in the care delivered to your patients and their families. I particularly like to acknowledge Professor Zena Moore and her predecessor, Professor Seamus Kalman, and the academic staff who do fantastic work and continuously strive for excellence in academic achievements both in research and in their teaching practice. I'd also like to thank the board of the faculty who help and support me in my role as dean. And I'd also like to thank the administration staff for their help and support. So finally, your qualification here today is something that can never be taken away from you. It cannot be bought, stolen, sold, rep repossessed, traded, devalued, frozen, like so many other possessions, assets, and things you may acquire or you may own. It is yours and you earned it. Appreciate it and value it. Use what you've learned here and knowledge acquired and the skills you developed to advance your career, but also to improve the world of those around you. And in the words of Nelson Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. So finally, congratulations and I wish you the very best in your future career, and well done. It's a great pleasure to introduce the Chancellor of the National University of Ireland, Dr. Maurice Manning. President, Vice President, Registrar, Dean, colleagues, new graduates, ladies and gentlemen. As Chancellor of the National University of Ireland, I'm delighted to be here in the Convention Centre for this morning's conferring ceremony 
for students of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. This is the fourth of five conferring ceremonies over the course of yesterday and today, though the first ever uh, in the Convention Center. But the number of conferrings is a sign of the continuing growth of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland and the increasing diversity and reputation of its programs. The connection between the National University of Ireland and the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland goes back to 1977. And on behalf of the university, I am delighted to welcome those of you being conferred today with NUI qualifications in the field of nursing. My warmest congratulations on your achievements. I'm also very pleased to see so many of your friends and family here to share this celebration. And I'm sure that they are very proud, whether, whether they're here or outside Ireland today, I'm sure they are all very proud of, your, of what you have accomplished. A commitment to quality is important throughout higher education, but it is especially so in the fields of medicine and nursing. The long years of reading, of clinical practice and assessment, all of these are necessary to prepare you for some of the most critical roles in society. Our health and our well-being, that of our families, all of that will be placed in your hands. When we are unwell, when we are in pain, when we are anxious, it is to you we turn. It is therefore imperative that you receive the most relevant and up-to-date information in teaching and teaching of the highest quality to prepare you for the tasks that lie ahead. I'm confident that what you have received in Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland and that through your work, you will continue to exemplify the qualities of integrity, of professionalism and excellence for which NUI graduates around the world are renowned. In recent years, nurse education in Ireland has experienced accelerated growth and significant academic progress, which is a very welcome development. At postgraduate level in particular, there has been a major expansion in response to the needs of an increasingly sophisticated healthcare system. And while the nursing profession is rightly associated with frontline healthcare services, we now have nursing graduates who are skilled and competent to make valuable contributions at various other levels of the healthcare system. Today's new nursing graduates, today you, our new nursing graduates, have a key role to play in the healthcare systems in Ireland and elsewhere. The great skills you have developed are of critical importance in the care of patients who find themselves in hospital or in other healthcare settings and at their most vulnerable. You, you have the capacity to reduce suffering, to speed recovery, to promote human dignity. I know that throughout your nursing careers, whether in Ireland or elsewhere, you will feel a strong sense of responsibility to contribute to the quality of healthcare services and to the individual experiences within those services. While continuing to work in our hospitals and health centers, you have taken your qualifications to new levels. You have acquired new specializations and you have developed new skills. In so doing, you have equipped yourself to take on more senior management responsibilities and positions of leadership. NUI's nursing graduates are particularly valued members of the National University of Ireland family. A core value of the NUI, a re reflection of the unique structure of the university, is collegiality. It is a value that is epitomized by the nursing profession. You operate within a distinctly interdisciplinary environment where teamwork, cooperation, and collaboration are a fundamental part of the working culture. The certificate in nurse midwife prescribing, which several of you have received today, received today, is a prime example of this, a collaborative program developed between Royal College of Surgeon, Surgeons in Ireland School of Nursing, Medicine and Pharmacy. It's also a reflection of the high level of professionalism in nursing and the esteem 
in which your skills and expertise are held. I'm confident that as NUI graduates, you will continue to embody the principles of collegiality throughout your careers, all of which I hope will be successful and fruitful. Many of you who graduated today have been engaged in further professional development. And it's not easy to combine domestic and professional life with the rigors of academic study. Undoubtedly, there have been sacrifices, lost time with family and friends, events, often important events missed. Through all of this, you have needed people to understand, to support, and to encourage you. Many of those people are here today, and I know that you are truly appreciative of, their, of all their assistance. It's very fitting that they are here to share in your celebration. I hope that today, that today makes all of their effort and sacrifice worthwhile. On behalf of the National University of Ireland, I offer my warmest congratulations to all of you. I wish you every success, both personally and professionally in the future, and I hope you will have a very enjoyable day today. To those of you who have been conferred with postgraduate qualifications, I offer you congratulations on your further achievements. You can all take great pride in what has been accomplished. To the president and the vice president, the registrar, the dean, and all of the staff at Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, this is also a joyous occasion with the satisfaction of seeing another cohort safely through. On behalf of the university, I extend my congratulations to you also. Thank you. Can I also add my congratulations to our newest RCSI graduates uh, and warmly welcome you to the RCSI family. I'd also like to sincerely acknowledge the hard work of the academic staff of the School and Faculty of Nursing. <laughs> many of whom you'll see are seated to the rear of the platform. This concludes the formal proceedings. I would like to invite you our newest graduates and your family and friends to join us for refreshments outside. And if I could please ask you to be upstanding for the outward procession. Mm -hmm.